Hi everyone, in this video, I want to show you how to connect your TP-Link router to your VPN provider as a VPN client using the WireGuard protocol. This configuration is especially useful for devices that do not support the VPN client and it is also useful in case you don't want to install the VPN client on all the devices that you have on your home network. So you can pick and choose what device will reroute through the VPN connection and what device will connect directly to the internet with the configuration of the TP-Link router. In my video, I'll be using the TP-Link AXE5400, which is the Archer AXE75 router, and I'll be using also the Surfshark VPN provider. But the instructions I'm gonna show you will apply to every TP-Link router that support the VPN client and the WireGuard protocol, and also will apply loosely to other VPN providers. All you have to do is to match the instructions I'm gonna show you on surfshark.com to your VPN provider. So let's first start by showing you what you need to do on your VPN provider. I'm gonna switch to screen recording and go to surfshark.com. What you need to do on your VPN provider, and in my case, as I said, it is surfshark.com, is to get the configuration file for the WireGuard connection that contains the private keys, the public keys, the DNS, and the server information, and all other information. And this can be done through the interface after you log in to your account. So here I logged into my account in Surfshark. I have on the left the menu. I'm gonna click on VPN and then click on manual setup and then choose router on the left also. And on the right, choose WireGuard. And here, if you have a key pair, which most likely you don't have, you can click on I have a key pair and choose the one that you wanna use. But here I don't have any key pairs and the key pair is the authentication method to your WireGuard connection. So I'm gonna click on, I don't have a key pair, and then I'm gonna name it here with the name of the VPN location that I'm gonna connect to. And here in my example, I'll be connecting to Paris, France. So I'm gonna name it Paris simply, and then click on next, and then I'm gonna click on generate a new key pair. So this is the first configuration that we need to do. Now the next configuration is to choose the server that you wanna connect to. And here, once you generate the key pair, it's gonna tell you choose a location. So I'm gonna click on choose a location and I'm gonna go to France to choose the Paris server. And it is by alphabetical order or you can search for it here. I'm gonna scroll just to show you also what are the servers that Surfshark provides. And by the way, if you wanna get a Surfshark subscription, I'm gonna leave a link in the description for the subscription that will give you a big discount. And this is an affiliate link. So if you make a purchase using this link, I will gain a small percentage, but this is at no cost to you. So let's get back to the video. So here it is, France. I'm gonna click on the arrow next to it, and I'm gonna choose Paris. And when you choose Paris, it will give you the information you need to connect. But here we're gonna simply download the configuration file and I'm gonna show you how to upload it so that the configuration will be populated automatically. So here on the bottom you have download. I'm gonna click on the download arrow and I'm gonna choose a location for the download. So I'm gonna save it under the downloads folder. So simply I'm gonna click on save and it will go into the downloads folder. And this is everything you need to do on your VPN provider site. So I'm gonna click on close here, and then I'm gonna switch now to the TP-Link router administration interface to show you how to set it up. To access the administration page of your TP-Link router, open a web browser and go to 192.168.0.1. So this is mainly the TP-Link router's default IP address. If 0 0.1 doesn't work, go to 1.1. And here's the administration page. So here you need to put the password to log in to the administration page of your TP-Link router. And you need to click on advanced. And you have in the menu VPN client. So scroll until you find it. Here it is. And then click on it. And then check enable. So this way you'll enable the VPN client. Now you need to add a server list. A server list, it means configuration files that will connect your router to a certain VPN server. So here. I don't have any server. I'm gonna click on add. And then for the VPN type, if WireGuard is not selected, you need to select it. So here you have all the protocols. And by the way, if you want me to make videos about OpenVPN, for instance, let me know in the comments section below. So here I'm gonna select WireGuard. And for the description, I'm gonna call it France, Paris. 
and here so that we don't put the configuration manually i'm gonna upload the configuration file that we downloaded from the surfshark website so here i'm gonna click on browse and then go to the downloads folder and here's a file select it and then click on open and it will populate the configuration automatically for you all you have to do here is to click on save so it will put it here and then it will enable it by default i'm gonna disable it for the time being and here you can also add other vpn connections you can add up to six vpn servers as it says here but you cannot connect simultaneously to more than one vpn connection so now the vpn connection is created but there are no clients that will reroute through this vpn connection because we didn't add any client under the device list here so you need to add clients that will reroute to the vpn connection so click on add here and then you have all the clients that are connected to your router and the offline clients too so in my case i have two clients i have my laptop and i have my pc i'm gonna add them both and i'm gonna show you later how you toggle them on and off so that to connect to the vpn or no so let's select them both and then let's click on ok and now you have the two clients that are connected so now we need to click on save to save the configuration let me enable now the vpn connection and then i'm gonna click on enable once again and now the vpn connection will be enabled and it will be connected to paris so here's the vpn connection connected and you see that both devices are now rerouting through the vpn because they are enabled here so i'm gonna show you first my pc by going to what is my ip in surfshark so i'm gonna open a new tab in my web browser and i'm gonna go to surfshark.com slash what dash is dash my dash ip Let's accept the cookies. And here is telling you that you are protected. And you see that we are now in Paris, France, although I am physically in Montreal. So let me now switch to my laptop to show you how it is also connected. And we're gonna disable one of them and we're gonna test how it will not be connected to the VPN anymore. So this is my laptop. Let me go to surfshark.com slash what is my IP on the laptop. So here you see also that it is protected. So I'm going to disable it now and we're going to refresh this page and you're going to see how it will not be protected anymore. So this way we rerouted one device through the VPN and one device through the internet. So let me disable it. So here's the TP-Link router interface and this is my laptop. I'm going to disable it here and let's go back to the laptop screen and let me refresh the web page now in the laptop. And you notice that it is not protected anymore and I have my original IP address and my original ISP. If you like this video, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I want to thank you all for watching. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you in the next video.